Here are the starters for race six, a trifecta race. Number one, Fox Valley Jacob, owned by Bobby Dexter, Paducah, Kentucky, trained and driven by Fred Finn, Jr. Number two, Mighty Rapidash, owned by Mike Tagg of Champaign, trained and driven by Tom Simmons. Number three, another success, owned by Joel Smith of Valparaiso, Indiana, trained by Amanda Smith, Joel will drive. Number four, Tangibles JJ, owned by Jacqueline and Jewel Brown of Mantino, trained by Don Fries. The driver is Sam Widger. Number five, Lucky Image, owned by Kenneth Hughes of New Windsor, trained by Jay Sundin, the driver Dave McGee. Number six, Fox Valley Sioux, owned by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman, trained by Tony Alanya. Dale Heitman is up. Number seven is Budget Surplus, owned by Lloyd Arnold of Hartley, Delaware, trained by Tex Motes, the driver Tony Morgan. And number eight is Half Full, owned by Hunt Harness Horses Incorporated of Big Rock, Tim Town of Mundelein, and Brian Penske Stable Incorporated of Downers Grove, Illinois, trained and driven by Brian Penske. Here they come. They're off in pacing. There goes half full on the far outside. Another success down toward the inside. Another success boils out to get the lead. Half full is parked in the center of the track. Fox Valley Jacob gets away third. Lucky Image moves up from fourth into third and dives over toward the rail. Further back, Budget Surplus settles into fifth. Mighty Rapidash goes sixth around the turn. Tangibles JJ is racing in seventh, and Fox Valley Sioux is eighth. At the quarter, another success leads in 27 seconds flat. Half full is second against the rail. Lucky Image goes third. They're all single file, except for Tangibles JJ, who comes off the rail near the back of the pack. Moving on to the back stretch, another success leads half full by a length. Two more to Lucky Image. Fox Valley Jacob is fourth. Fox Valley Jacob now thinks about a move to the outside, and here he comes. Fox Valley Jacob starts moving up in the center of the track from fourth into third, three lengths off the lead. Tangibles JJ moves with cover behind him. The half in 57 and three. Fox Valley Jacob up to take the lead by a neck. Another success as second going to the far turn. Tangibles JJ is third around the outside of half full, who shuffled back against the rail to the inside of Fox Valley Sioux as they approach the three quarters. Budget surplus moves up on the outside, but still six lengths off the lead. Lucky image next to last. Mighty Rapidash trails at the three quarter. Fox Valley Jacob leads in 127 and two. He's on top by a length. Tangibles JJ is second. Fox Valley Sioux angles wide in third. Another success and half full or back toward the inside. Top of the stretch. Fox Valley Jacob, one of the top county fair two-year-olds this summer, leads it by two. Tangibles JJ second. Another success third. Half full is fourth. Fox Valley Jacob. The Colts going to win again. Half full is challenging for second. Fox Valley Jacob win number 11 on the year. He wins it by two. Half full was second. Tangibles JJ was third in 155 and one. Dr. Kenneth and Patricia Walker of Fox Valley Standard Breads have a granddaughter named Abby who's about to move into the winner's circle who at one time could not say her brother's name. Her brother Jacob with a J is in the Chicago Cubs hat walking into the winner's circle right now alongside of his sister and because Abby at one time couldn't say her brother's name, that's how the Walkers came up with the name Fox Valley Jacob. And Jacob is a winner for the 11th time, Fred Finn Jr., the winning driver. Sportsmaster Colt trained and driven by Fred Finn Jr. at Newton, Illinois. Fred's second winner of the week, Bobby Dexter of Paducah, Kentucky, is the winning owner. See if we can get a word with our winning owner, Bobby Dexter of Paducah, Kentucky. Bobby, we saw you at the Effingham County Fair in Aldemont last week. How many years in the standard bread business? My 50th year. 50th year in this business as a standard bread owner. Even though you're from Kentucky, you have long invested in the Illinois program. Why? Well, I like the program. I've always followed it. Uh, I race the Indiana program and the Kentucky program both. In fact, I won a race in Indiana about an hour ago.
Oh, man, it's been a good day. A winner in Indiana, a winner at the Illinois State Fair. Bobby, tell all the folks back in Kentucky, hello. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Carr. Bobby Dexter of Paducah, Kentucky. He's our winning owner.